Hi folks and welcome. Today I would like to share a simple beginner-friendly technique how to use X particles to fill an object like a letter, for example. So let's jump right in and we're going to start from scratch. The first thing we're going to build is our text element. I'm going to use the MoGraph text element. Just type in the letter S going to look for a proper font. I used uh, Mont Montserrat for my example. Make it 30 centimeters in depth. Set it to the middle. Are we going to switch to the side view like so? Uh, we have to make a path for our emitter to follow along. So we're going to grab the spline pan and just roughly draw a spline inside of our S. Maybe just like so. Doesn't have to be so accurate actually. There we go. Just pull it a bit so it looks nice. Just like so. Make it uniform. And now we're going to uh, set our text element a little bit, shift it, shift it in the z-axis to minus, minus 50. So our, our spline is just right in the middle. And we don't have to see our text element anymore. So we can turn it off. Just focus on the spline we built. So next we need an emitter, so we go, I hit, uh, hit shift C, emitter, XP emitter, like so. Going to assign a, uh, a line to spline tag to our emitter, drag in our spline, and now our emitter will follow the spline if we going to, uh, if we set some keyframes here. So let's Set a key from here, go to the end of the timeline and set another keyframe at 100%, just like so. And if you play it back, we have something like this. Yeah, nice. So we're going to the emitter settings and our emitter is going to be a sphere with a radius of 10. And maybe we can bring down the emission to 200 or something like this for for this uh, for example. If you play back, we have something like this. So now to make the particle stay inside of our letter, we have to use our text element and assign an insidium tag collider XP collider tag to it. Set it to inside. Bring down the bounds to about let's say one percent and increase the friction instead to fifty or something like this. So if we play it back, you have instantly you can see the particles will the will uh, will fill the object. So now um, we're going to fine tune this, of course, and um, first of all, we're going to the uh, emitter display settings. Set it to a random color and use spheres. So we have a good representation of what's going on. So it's looking like this, very nice. Going to our mission, we can bring down the speed and we can set some variation for the radius. So now it starts like this. Now this is okay, that's fine, but it's pretty boring. You have some intersections over, all over the place. And to make it more physical correct, we're going to use a Insidium X particle dynamics element, uh, which is the XPP collisions. So and also we're going to bring down the bounds to about 20, friction 50, set some variation to make it more interesting. And if we play this back, we have something like this. So maybe it's bit boring now we need some more particles to fill the object and we're going to increase the amount of particles over time so we're going, just going to start with 50 
and let's say about 30 frames we're going to have maybe 300 I don't know let's have a look well actually it's not too bad I'm going to extend our timeline to 150 well look at this that's nice well we have to stop the emission about the time about the point in time where the uh, emitter is, go is going to reach its end, so the end of the spline. So it's frame 90. And so we go into the emission of our emitter, uncheck emit all frames, and it's uh, by, by default set to 90 frames. So let's see. Pop. So the uh, emission is going to stop, and our object is filled. Um, well, that's basically it, but you can a little bit art direct the movement of, of the particles. Let's see what we can do. We can maybe, for example, add a drag, a drag modifier. Set the drag modifier from air to mercury, which is the heaviest density. So that will change the character of the uh, movement a little bit. You can also, if you uh, if you run into the problem that your that your particles are going to explode or just move out of your uh, of your uh, geometry, you can use a kill modifier. Let's look for it. Kill modifier. Place it here. Kill modifier. And instead of uh, set it to box, uh, go to set objects, and we can just drag in our text element. So, in, in this way, you can avoid your particles from going out of your uh, from going out of your geometry because you, you won't see the particles that are going out anymore. They're just killed when they reach the border of the of the object. You can also uh, make the you can also increase the accuracy of your uh, of your simulation just hit command D to open the project settings and go to X particles and just increase the sub frames to uh, sub sub frame steps to something about three and maybe also the iterations to six and So this way the uh, the collisions are more accurate. You won't see any uh, intersections anymore. And just to make it look nice a bit, you can uh, first of all go to Redshift. Maybe set the settings to something that is going to render a bit faster. Just like so. And um, assign a material to all particles. First, uh, to make it visible, you have to add a, um, a, a redshift object tag to it and tell it to create spheres. If we render this, sorry, this is my example. If you render this, it's just going to look like this. It's a bit flat. My, I mean, this could be also useful, but it's a bit flat. So let's create a new material. Uh, apply it to our emitter, open up the redshift render view, get a bit smaller, render, so just gray at the moment, I'm going to modify the material of course, open up the node editor, this little window, you have to look for the user color data, color user data, sorry, user color data, Assign it to the color of your material. So by default, by default it's just black. Uh, you have to tell the node which color to use. Let's pull it over. And it's the particle color. So it's outside of the frame, but uh, there it is. So because there's no light or anything else in our scene, you won't see any reflections. And to change this, we're just going to apply a Let's say, oh, sorry, uh, a area light, like so. 
flip it and move it up. Yeah, it's good, a little bit strong. You bring it down and also add a dome light. Well, that's not too bad actually. And maybe it's a bit bright. Bring it down like so. Yeah, now you can add a camera, redshift camera. You can, for example, add a bloom to it if you want. So we have a bit of halo around the objects. Yeah, and you can, of course, ex uh, multiply this setup to more letters and create words with it if you want to. and. Hope you have fun with it. See you soon. Bye bye.